For this first lesson, we're going to talk about what WebXR is. What is this WebXR API to begin with? And to understand that, we first have to talk about web APIs. What are these web application programming interfaces? The easy way to think about it is that they're simply standards and conventions. So uh, functionalities that all browsers, you know, Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, that they, they all support and have implemented so that you as a developer can code really great applications on the web. Uh, you can think of them almost as features or libraries that you can access as a developer. So for example, um, this is a handy page that lists all of the uh, web APIs that exist. And for example, there's a geolocation API. And by using this API, you can access the, um, you know, the coordinates of the user that is using a web page. There's also a very well-known one called the web audio API that you can use in order to play audio on the web. So just like any other of these APIs, and there's a bunch here, you can you can go in and read about them. You might you might already um, recognize some of them. You know, there's a Bluetooth one as well. There's a screen capture API. Just useful things that you can do when you're writing web applications. And along with all of these, there's a new one called the WebXR API. Okay. And these web APIs, you might be wondering, well, how do they come to exist in the first place? And they are managed by a body called W3C. I encourage you to read about this uh, organization, especially on Wikipedia. It was essentially started by Tim Berners-Lee, who is recognized as the inventor of the web. And so W3C is a standards body that approves and sort of manages some of these APIs. Um, the WebXR one specifically is being handled by uh, a group uh, sort of within W3C called the Immersive Web Group, Standards Group. And the cool thing about web APIs is that they're developed in the open. So you can actually go to this repository and read discussions about how this specification is progressing, uh, what people are discussing. And there's a lot of uh, description here and information about you know, things that the API wants to support, depth sensing, navigation, light estimation, and all of this stuff is being discussed in the open, which is very interesting. You can also even go to the WebXR API spec. So this is almost like a blueprint that describes all of the spec and all of this is also out in the open. So one thing to note is that it is still a draft. The API is still being worked on. So uh, it might change, but there are already parts of the API that are implemented by uh, browsers like Chrome and it seems like Safari, you know, Apple is working on it as well. And so while the API is still a draft, it already works on the web. And that's why, you know, uh, that's why I've created this class to begin with. So that is what a web API is. Um, a lot of people ask, well, what does the X stand for in WebXR? Um, you know, you might think that it stands for extended reality. Some people say cross reality. Um, there's a really great article uh, published in this page called developers.google.com that talks about the immersive web and some of the basic concepts there. Um, WebXR, the X really stands for whatever you want it to be because the point of it is to sort of span use cases that go from augmented reality to virtual reality. So WebXR supports both VR experiences and also AR experiences. Although in this class, we are just going to talk about AR use cases.